Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So, as promised, here is the first of the bikini tutorials. I'm so excited for this one. I really, really like how this one turned out. I used the fabric that I got in my New York fabric haul, so if you haven't seen that, I will link that below and up top so you guys can watch and see what I bought. And now, onto the tutorial. Oh. But before we go, if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel. And if you really like the video, give it a like. And if there's anything you want to see me make or any kind of style of uh, swimsuit you want to see me make, then throw that in the comments and I will be all over that, getting your ideas so I can make stuff for you. Okay, that's it. Let's make a bikini. For this tutorial, you will need swimsuit fabric, ruler, pen, a sports bra and a pant that you like the fit of, rotary cutter, pins, craft paper, D-rings or metal loops, and a sewing machine and matching thread. I decided on these two large round ones. I will link below where I got them. For the fabric, you want a swimsuit fabric that has a four-way stretch. This way it will retain its shape because we are not going to be using elastic. Okay, so let's draft the pattern. Lay your sports bra flat on your craft paper. Pick which side you want the shoulder strap to be on and then trace around that side the armhole and the shoulder. Mark the armhole point on the other side and then from that shoulder strap, join them together with a swooping line across the front. This will give you the basic one shoulder shape. Once you have that, you can then go ahead and lower the neckline or the armpit line, anything that you want. Once you're done, you can then add a half inch seam allowance around the whole thing. Then cut it out. You're only gonna need one because we're using the same pattern for front and for back. We are gonna do the exact same thing with the bottoms, first starting with the back end of the pattern and then using a tracing wheel to trace the front end of the pattern. Again, before you add your seam allowance, you can make your adjustments and then add your half inch seam allowance. Then cut out one of each. In total, you should have a front bottom piece and a back bottom piece, and then you should have one top piece which we'll use for front and back. Okay, let's get cutting. As a general rule, you should always cut your swimsuits on one layer, especially if it has a busy pattern. In this case, I folded it over for ease of cutting, but you should definitely do it on one layer, unless you're impatient like me. For the front of the top, we are going to cut two, but we are going to take two inches from the top of the shoulder strap. This is so when we insert the ring, it sits on the front of the chest and not on top of the shoulder. When you cut the back piece of the top, you will add two inches to the top of the shoulder seam to accommodate the two that we took off the front. It will allow the back shoulder strap to wrap over your shoulder and sit on the front, which as a result makes it much more comfortable to wear. Once you've cut two of each, you can then go ahead and cut two of the front pant and two of the back pant. So with each pair of fabric, you can then place them on top of each other with their right sides facing out and then pin them together because we are going to sew them together and sandwich them so that they are one piece with right sides facing on both sides. Do this with both the tops and the bottoms. Essentially what we are doing is using one piece as the front piece and another piece as the lining. So before we sew it together, you should take some time to figure out what stitch to use. If you have a serger, you can join these pieces together and you can also use them to sandwich the fabrics together as that is made for knits and stretchy fabrics. 
but if you're just using a sewing machine like I am today you can use a zigzag stitch which is usually used for stretching there is also a three-step zigzag stitch which is much more hard wearing and there are also some decorative stitches that you might have in your sewing machine that is also good for stretchy fabrics I would suggest using a scrap to experiment with stitches and then giving them a really good stretch like really stretching them and see which one works for you in this case I'm going to use the three-step zigzag for the entire bikini and also the sandwich in because it lasts really really well and it also looks quite nice on the top of the fabric as a top stitch so now that we have picked our stitch that we're going to use you can go ahead and sew around the outer edge of all of your pieces I used a 3 8 of an inch seam allowance which gave me a little bit to trim off after Pin your front and back bikini bottom pieces at the crutch and then do the same with your top at the side seams. Make sure that the shoulder is on the side you want it to be. You might have to turn it over and inside out to check and see what it would look like once it's sewn. Okay, so we've sewn our side seams of our top and we've also sewn the crutch of our bikini pants. Now we need to finish the edges. Starting with the top, fold over the edges so that the stitching is only shown on the inside. So that usually is about a centimeter. Use the zigzag stitch or whatever stitch you have chosen to hem in place. Do this around the entire top, leaving the top of the shoulder seam open. Your stitching should look something like this and it should be able to stretch as much as the fabric does. This is completely optional but I would definitely suggest that you sew down the seam allowances of the side seams on the inside for comfort. So we are nearly done with the top and everything is looking neat and tidy and as the saying goes, if you like it then we better put a ring on it. To attach the ring, Thread the front shoulder strap through the ring and pin on the inside as close as you can get to the ring. Do the same for the back and then stitch back and forth across the opening to lock them together. It's actually easier to sew them one by one instead of pinning them both together but I did it so that you guys could see what you need to do. Once you've gone back and forth over that same stitch, it should be nice and sturdy and not going anywhere. And that is your top finished. Doesn't it look great? Let's get onto the pants. Once you've decided which side you want to put the ring on your pants, then you need to close the other side and then hem all around like you did with the top, leaving the other side open. Then using the same technique you did attaching the ring to the top, you are going to attach the ring to the bottoms. In this case, I didn't elongate it because I wanted the ring to be right at the side of my body and not at the front. But if you do want the ring to be sat at the front of your bikini pant, then what you would do when cutting out the pattern is make the back piece longer and the front piece a little bit shorter. And that is it guys, you can now put on that bikini and jump into the nearest pool because you are done. Let's see how it looks. So here it is, my itty bitty polka dot bikini. I absolutely loved how this turned out and I really hope you guys give this one a try because it is easier than it looks. That's it for this week. Be sure to like that video if you like what you see and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys in the next tutorial next week. Bye!